What is up? I am Eric and you are watching Resale Pickups. In this video, we are talking about this huge wholesale lot of shoes that I picked up on eBay. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. With that being said, let's check it out. As you guys can see here, uh, I bought some shoes off of eBay. And honestly, uh, I like to do this, especially whenever um, I can find some good wholesale lots that are um, relatively cheap. I would say the buy cost on these per pair of shoes is about $8, um, a little under actually. Um, with shipping included so that is something that I always love to have so what I did here is sometimes uh, there's specific times when I have hard times finding shoes um, I like to go on and buy from this specific seller from this uh, wholesale lot and usually the deals are awesome you guys have seen me do one before and so I wanted to show that off yet again I bought these um, uh, on eBay like I said um, and I want to show you guys how you can actually be buying stuff at a good cost and be able to flip that and resell it and make your money so if you are starting with absolutely no money you can do this as well now I spent seven dollars per pair which is about 150 bucks for this whole lot I believe um, if my math is correct it's really like 140 um, but I'm very stoked about this. There are some great shoes that I saw on here uh, in the listing and then there's some that I just didn't see and I saw them but I didn't really quite know what they are. So I have already cut the bag open and I started looking through and I saw the first two pair and I said, I need to stop, I need to wait, I need to work on a video for this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull them out of this bag and go through everything. Now, I want you to know, yes, this was an eBay pickup. This was not something I went out and got, um, but I have bought this before from this person, um, and they always include great stuff. So I'm gonna go through there and talk about what it is, what the shoe is, and also um, how much it costs me, or why I would pick this up, or I wouldn't pick this up on the daily basis. So these um, wholesale lots are usually like, as is so some of the shoes might have tears in them they have, might have rips might have stains maybe missing laces maybe missing insoles i know actually a few of these actually have insoles they're starting to fall over here on me um they don't have the insoles um but that's okay there's a ton of shoes here and i'm very excited to talk about all of them so uh, let's just go ahead and go right into it now on top here These are the first pair that I saw and I wanted to pull these out immediately um, And that is because of what they are and that is these are pair of Brooks These are in really good condition. I look these are actually the ones that I pulled out um, and looked over and was really impressed um, and then I realized I need to put these all back. These are pure co codents. I don't I don't know what that is, but I'm sure that's a good. I don't know the model, but I know uh, Brooks is always a good seller, especially when they're in good condition. Now I look at these on the inside. There is actually a Goodwill sticker, and it says they. It's priced at fifteen dollars. So these are a good pair of shoes. Um, and especially with eBay, not eBay, uh, with Goodwill trying to mark them up to $16, that's definitely worth picking up. So I'm definitely glad to have got those and added them. The next pair of shoes in here are these Adidas. These are bright yellow and they're like track running shoes. I don't know if you could see exactly, um, but those are awesome. They're bright, as you can tell. They say Adidas on one side. Uh, they say running on the inside. Everything's good here. Um, this one has minimal use. Honestly, I could probably go without cleaning these. This one has like a scuff here um, and no stains, so I'm very stoked about that. I don't see any rips, no tears. Uh, these are in good condition. These are actually the Vigor uh, TR6 so that's cool those are gonna be good sellers as well um, next I believe 
if I remember correctly, these are actually um, Reebok CrossFit shoes, which is awesome. CrossFit shoes, a lot of people like to buy these when they work out and do CrossFit. They're flat on the bottom, they've got some tread. Um, these are in really good condition uh, for being a CrossFit shoe. Normally those things are falling apart. Um, these aren't in the, the best condition, uh, but they're not in the worst condition. There's a few chunks missing there. There's a chunk missing there. Um, and the biggest thing, there are no actual insoles. So I'll sell these. I'll sell these for sure, but they will be discounted a little bit because there's no soles in there. Um, I'll make sure that's known. I'll say, hey, these are good shoes. They're clean and I'll clean them up and everything, but I will say they do not have insoles. And the same thing goes with this next pair. And I saw these on the listing and I knew that they did not have the soles, but I think what they are will make up for that. And these are Hoka 1-1s. These are Bondi 4s, I believe. Yes, they are. Um, but like I said, there is no insole here, at least none at all actually but these are great shoes these things sell like crazy if you can find hokas they will always sell for you as long as they're in good condition these all sell um they'll be a little cheaper because there's no insole but um honestly these are a great condition one they're they're great honestly these are not too bad being cleaned it'll take maybe two minutes um, just clean them down, wipe them down, and then flip these. No problem there at all. I'm pretty happy about those. Next, ooh, these are awesome. So, if you guys don't know, I am a video gamer. You can tell by my shirt, obviously. Um, and I saw these in the listing, I was super stoked. These are the Peach Vans Nintendo um, uh, low profile. They say game over on the bottom. They're a little dirty, but that's okay. Anything with these, this white, whether it's Converse, whether it's Vans, whatever it is, you can usually clean those up pretty well. Um, I think this these will sell well. These should do really well. They even have the NES. Um, I don't know how to show it to you, but they're really hard to see on the actual uh, shoelaces. So that's pretty dope. I'm very excited about that. Next, let's see. Can I get the matching shoe? Yes, I can. We've got some um converse high tops chuck taylor all stars these are gold and they're actually in pretty good condition i'm not seeing any issues there's scuffing on the top here but that always happens with these shoes um those are easy to clean off no worries there so i'm pretty stoked let's see if that's a kid size it's a size two so that is a smaller size um but that's okay that will still sell pretty well next we have these Pretty interesting looking Vans. Um, spoiler alert, there's a lot of Vans in here and I think a few, uh, uh, what were they, uh, Converse as well. So these are some pretty cool Vans. They just have like triangles all over them. Um, I think they look pretty sweet. Um, they're in good condition, obviously. Um, all of these shoes are in really good condition so far. They're just dirty, and that's something I can fix. I could do do that and take care of that and be happy. Um, here we are, are with another pair of Converse, just flat white. These are men's. They're, what, seven and a half? Those look big for seven and a halfs, um, but this is a little bit too small for me, so I won't be keeping these. Um, but they're in, these are in good condition. That's why I love buying from this uh, reseller or I guess wholesaler, I guess, um, because they are in good condition. And as you saw me drop that shoe, I'm trying to reach for the other one. These are some Under Armour shoes. They look like they're in pretty good condition. There's like some tape on the bottom. Um, Under Armour, I don't sell normally, so I don't know how much these are worth. What size are they? These are a, a 6.5. Are these men's or women's? I'm, I'm pretty sure these are men's, uh, but these are in good condition. They should sell, sell pretty well. Um, and at $7, I can definitely make that money back and then some. Um, here, we're still rolling with the Vans. Here is a like off-white or like a cream color. Um, these are in good condition. Uh, there's not much to say. They're a basic 
um, low profile uh, vans and that's good. Those will sell. Those will sell pretty well. Next, we have some gazelles, some Adidas gazelles. I actually just sold a pair of gazelles this week. They were a size 13. They were huge, uh, but these are more reasonable. These are like a pink color, um, and they're nine and a half in women. So those will sell pretty well. Those those look really good. the The issue is is the the toe box on these. Really, most of the other parts of these shoes can be cleaned very easy, so those are definitely awesome to add to the... Whoa. I wish these were my size. I saw these, but I wasn't for sure what they were um, in the listing. They're pizza vans. How sick is that? Now, there's definitely some cleaning that needs to be done. Um, these are size 11s, which means they're not my size. I think these would be cool to have. Um, but the, yet again, they're dirty, but they're in good condition. Um, I like these. If these were in my size, I'd definitely be picking these up. That's pretty awesome. What else do we have down here? We got a pair of uh, Converse, again, the kind of low profile ones. These are seven and a half and women's. These are actually pretty good. They're not really even that dirty. The toe box isn't scuffed up that much. Um, those are definitely perfect whenever you can get shoes like that. Um, next we have kind of like these floral kind of fall Nike SBs, Janikowski, Janowskis, uh, I can never say that. These are the Nike SB Air Zooms. These, these are pretty cool actually. What size are they? Ten and a half, still too big for me, which is a bummer. I might rock these if they were my size. Um, I had a pair of Janowskis that I just sold that were uh, camouflage that I almost kept, but I sold them. These are pretty cool too. Let's see, what else do we have? Down here, we got some Brooks, it looks like. Um, what side? These are launch. I don't know what that is. But these, yeah, these are all in really good condition. They're just dirty, and I have no problem with dirty shoes. That is something I can fix, and that is something I can I can deal with. So these are Brook, Brooks launches. These are good shoes. These should go for like 30 bucks, maybe 25. Uh, that's definitely definitely something I want to pick up. Here we've got some more Vans coming up. I will hope these are my size. I don't know if I'd keep them though. Uh, there's a little separation there you can see up there. What size are these? These are sick. Eight and a half. These are my size, so maybe I'll think about these. Um, I don't know if the brown matches how what I would wear. Usually I wear like black pants, so I don't know. Maybe I'll keep these. I'll check on how that works going back together or whatnot. Um, but overall, these are actually pretty good condition. Uh, there's a little wear on the back. These are really soft, and these are the Ultra Kush, which means they're really light as well. So if I do sell these, these are going to ship cheaper just because of how light they are, which is totally awesome. Uh, we got some Adidas coming out here. The Adidas Trex. These are like um, track, track shoes, I guess. Like Not like running track, but like trail running shoes. These are the 260s. Uh, these are pretty sweet. These are in good condition. Like I, I keep saying, every one of these, you guys are probably annoyed by me saying that, but these are actually in good condition and they look like they've barely been worn. Once I clean these things up, you, you could probably get away with saying that these were only worn like five times, to be honest. I'm not gonna do that, but if I wanted to, I definitely probably could get away with it. So those are two different shoes. So hold on just one second. So these are the the Peanuts Vans, which are pretty sweet. I, I would never wear these to be honest, but they look pretty cool. They've got the comic book strips all around them. Um, yet again, that white spot or white area, whatever they want to call this area towards the sole. Maybe that's the midsole, I don't know. These are nine and a halfs. These will clean up and look, these will be well worth the money. These these should do like 30, 35 maybe uh, once I clean them up. So I'm definitely stoked about that. 
If you ever see vans with vans off the wall on the back that hasn't rubbed off, you know you've got a pair of shoes that have not been worn very much. And that is something I definitely enjoy. Um, that goes to say about these vans as well. These are size six and a half. They're men, which is a size eight for women. So that's awesome. That's a good size. The vans off the wall is still there on the back, which means these haven't been worn much. And I can tell that these probably have worn, been worn five to 10 times. Definitely stoked about that. Those are like a cream color. And last but not like least, we have another pair of vans here wrapping it up. These are six and a half in men's or eight in women's as well. Yet again, we're hit with that vans off the wall on the back, which is great. Um, this pair doesn't have the laces, which I knew about, which is a bummer um, because I like vans and I would like to have the, the laces so I could sell them. But I will be buying some extra laces here in the next two or three weeks uh, just for this instance. So um, with that being said, that's what we got in this bag. I love buying from this wholesaler and I plan on doing it again in the future. So if you like this video, comment down below. Um, but I wanted this video and I made this video because I want you guys to know that you can do this. You just gotta put in the work. You just gotta hustle. These um, shoes all together will cost about $7 to $8 each. Um, after I clean them up, um, I will get some laces on some of them. Some I'll just leave without their soles. Um, but these are great shoes that just need to be washed a little bit and they'll be ready to go. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you know when I post more videos. And one last time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.